but do me a favor, keep an eye on this. I haven't played in a while. Because we're going to be hitting from Times Square. And we'll be swinging down to Florida. With 1,100 golf courses to choose from, we swung in to the top 10 public golf courses in Florida. But before we did, I want to just show you what we got on this channel. We're looking at the top public golf courses in each state and also the top golf courses in every country. So let's zoom in to our number 10th on this list. And there was a total of five championship golf courses down in this Palm Springs area. And we're giving it to the PGA National Resort. And that is the championship course, which stretches along 7,000. 45 yards it's a par 72 that has a ranking of 75.2 now there's a lot to like here at this championship golf course it was originally designed by tom fazio but then in 2014 jack nicholas came in and made some updates to the course with a total of five different tee boxes to choose from it offers all the amenities for every type of golfer you might just have to stay at the resort in order to play this quote-unquote public golf course. Now, it's going to slowly move us into the top nine golf courses that you could play in the state of Florida. Now, with 1,100 golf courses, it gets pretty tough. So let's zoom in to Sand Hill Golf Club, which is a championship golf course here, a tight one nonetheless. The course is a par 72 that stretches 6,484 yards. It also has a slope of 134 and a ranking of 71.7. The course was designed by Roy Case in 1992. There's Bermuda grass, greens, and fairways open year-round and has multiple tee boxes, so many that we can't even list. And with over 456 rankings on Goff now, all of them putting it over a 4. And that's why we're going to give it to this Palm Spring Palm, Palm Beach Gardens golf course. And just like that, we're now moving into the top eight golf courses that you could play in the state of Florida. That's a massive state with a ton of golf. And we'll be updating this list periodically. So it's going to change throughout the years. So let's zoom in to this fun 18-hole golf course here. That has a lot to offer. It's a par 72, and it stretches 7,103 yards. The course has a slope of 145, with a ranking from the back tees of 76.2. The course was opened in 1972, but some won major updates in 1993, pushing it over the edge. It's considered an island paradise for golf if you're in the area so that's going to zoom us now into the top seven golf courses that you could play in florida so let's take a look at some of the great golf left to be played and number seven is no doubt one of the best so let's take a look at number seven on this list this resort style golf course it's a par 72 and it's seven thousand and one yard it has a slope of 144 and a ranking of 67.7. The course opened in 1994, has Bermuda grass, is open year round, and was designed by Reeds Jones. A great golf course for anyone staying at the resort and looking to play a challenging golf course. Well, that's gonna now move us into the top six golf courses left in Florida. And there's a lot of great golf still to be played. We haven't even got to the top five. So let's zoom in. Now we're going to Crossfire, so we're hitting every little part of it. So let's zoom in now to our number six golf course, which is a beautiful 18-hole golf course as a par 72. It stretches 7,051 yards. It has a slope of 143 and a ranking of 73.6 course was designed by golf architect John Stanford and it opened in 2001. It has Bermuda grass and Bermuda grass fairways. Beautiful golf course with water on most of the holes and a ton of bunkers. It's open year round and offers some incredible golf for those just outside the Palm Beach 
area. This is a remarkable public 18-hole golf course that everyone should get a chance to go out and play. And if you had, make sure you hit that comment bar because we need to know if we got this list right. Because now we're going to be moving into the top five. We'll be updating this list periodically. So that course might even move behind or probably behind. So let's zoom in to number five on this list. This is a beautiful one. Course located in Jupiter, Florida. There's a lot of great golf there. It is only 7,200 yards with a slope of 142 and a ranking of 75. There's a par 72. The course was designed by Joe Lee in 1999 and has Bermuda grass and is open year round. And the course is pretty reasonable. It's only $60 to play it Monday through Thursday and from Friday through Sunday it only goes up $10, making it $70. Most of the holes do have water on it, and it offers an absolute challenging course. It's in very good shape, and the online rankings put it at number five on this list. Now, it does go up a little bit during the fall time slash season. You're going to pay about $140 total. Then. So, it was a little off there, but... We're going to quickly move into our number fourth on this list. And this one doesn't really feel like you're in Florida. World Woods Pine Barrens. Interesting. The course is a par 71 that stretches 7,207 yards. It has a slope of 133 and a ranking of 75.3. The course was built in 19... 99. It has winter rye fairways. It's open year round. It's Tom Fazio course. It's going to move us now into our number third on this list. And this is a fun one Trump National, the Blue Monster. The course is a par 72 that stretches 7,570 yards. It has a slope of 145 and a ranking of 77. The course was built in 1962 and was designed by Dick Wilson. That's going to move us into some unbelievable golf because there's only two more golf courses left to choose from. And we left the best for last. So let's zoom in to number two on this list. And we're going to go, just a lot of golf here, we're going to go to the red course, which is a fun 18 hole golf course here. It's a par 72 that stretches 7,148 yards. It has a slope of 130 and a ranking of 74.2. The course was built in 2012, is open year round, and has some unbelievable views. So that's going to do it. But there's one last golf course to choose from. And number one is a beautiful golf course. And we are going to be updating this video as we move through the years. And of course, as you know, TPC Sawgrass, the Players Stadium course, made it as our number one golf course here that you can play. The course is a par 72 that stretches 7,245 yards. It has a slope of 155 and a ranking of 76.4. Course was built in 1981 and is a peat course. It has Bermuda grass and Bermuda fairways. So if you made it this far, I highly recommend you subscribe because we're going to be hitting all the golf courses across the country. And we'll be ranking them and most likely the ones that you could play, public golf courses. So that is going to do it for this video. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. And of course, we just have one thing left to say. Heads up!